everyone let us discuss this result so in this result we have a matrix space xd and we have two sets a and b which are subsets of matrix space xd and see what we have to prove we have to prove that a intersection b interior is equal to a interior intersection b interior see when we have to prove two sets are equal what we do first we prove first set is subset of second and then we prove the second set is subset of first same technique we are going to use here to prove this result okay so clearly one thing we can write i have mentioned everything here this thing we have to prove so clearly okay clearly one thing we can write a intersection b is subset of a in this diagram also you can see this is a this is b and a intersection b that means a part which is common in both so obviously this part is subset of a similarly similarly what can we write a intersection b is subset of b also right but see in previous video we have already proved that thing if first set is subset of other then the same relation will be maintained for their interiors that means a intersection b subset of a so therefore a intersection b interior subset of a interior and a intersection b interior subset of b interior okay so i should mention the reason here if p subset of q then p interior subset of q interior so using this result i could write it see this a intersection b interior is subset of a interior a intersection b interior is subset of b interior that means this set okay this set is subset of both sets so that's why this set lies in its intersection getting so therefore let me mention therefore therefore what can we say a intersection b interior subset of a interior intersection b interior okay i will repeat the reason here since this set okay which is subset of both so that's why it is a subset of their intersection also so i'm calling it as one okay so after that we have to prove that set is subset of this one okay so make a screenshot of it after that we will go further see now to prove that a interior intersection b interior is subset of a intersection b interior so how to prove one set is subset of other very simple technique we have we take any arbitrary element from first set and we will prove it is in second set so let us take one element let p belongs to a interior intersection b interior see p lies in intersection that means p lies in both sets so let me mention here so implies p belongs to a interior and p belongs to b interior what it means p belongs to a interior that means p is an interior point of a let me mention p is an interior point of a getting and using this one what can we write we can write p is an interior point of b okay so now we can use definition of interior point so you know that p is an interior point of a then okay i am considering one point p here p is an interior point of a so it is possible to find ball around p getting it is possible to find ball around p which is subset of a having a radius r1 okay let me show it here so this is radius r1 so therefore there exist there exist r1 greater than 0 such that such that open ball with center p radius r1 subset of a and same thing we can write for b also since p is an interior point of b also so therefore what can we say there exist r2 greater than 0 such that such that open ball with center p radius r2 subset of b getting subset of b so let me show here in a diagram so this is set b we have so we'll have a ball like this see this point p is very close to the boundary of b so i will take a smaller radius so that that ball will entirely lies inside a set b okay so now what will i do uh, yes we want a ball which will lie in both sets so what will i do i will take a radius which is minimum of both this r1 and r2 so let me select let r is equal to minimum of r1 and r2 then okay so r greater than zero clearly since both of them are greater than zero and r is a minimum so in this diagram you can easily see r2 is a minimum okay if you consider this diagram but see r is a minimum of both so that's why we can write let me mention so therefore therefore 
open ball with center P radius R is subset of A and open ball with center P radius R is subset of B also. Getting? Since we have chosen a minimum of R1 and R2, so that's why that small ball will lie in both sets A as well as B. So therefore, what can we say? So open ball is subset of their intersection also since it is in both it is a subset of both sets so that's why it is a subset of their intersection also but you know this is definition of interior point so therefore what can we declare p is an interior point of a intersection b okay it is interior point of a intersection b therefore p belongs to a intersection b interior getting okay? so actually we had taken point p from where we had taken point P from A interior intersection B interior and we proved it is in A intersection B interior. So therefore, this set is subset of that one. So let me mention here, therefore, therefore, A interior intersection B interior subset of A intersection B interior. I am calling it as 2. So in one already we have proved that set is subset of this one and now we are saying this set is subset of that one. So therefore from 1 and 2 if you combine 1 and 2 we will have both sets are equal A intersection B interior is equal to A interior intersection B interior. So in this way we proved this result make a screenshot of it then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.